Hey guys, so I know it's been a little bit set uploaded. Sorry about that. And then we're just gonna move along because we're not gonna talk about how bad my uploading schedule is. But today is gonna be a different video than what you're used to. I usually do vlogs, video diaries, stuff like that. But recently I've been really getting into like skincare, hair care, self care, all of that stuff and like makeup stuff. So I finally got like my nighttime skincare and my morning skincare routine down and i just wanted to film it and show you guys the products that i use because i don't know i thought it would be fun and i'm also doing my hair care routine and my like everything shower routine like my full self-care it is like 12 o'clock at night right now first of all i am breaking out a little bit we're gonna ignore that also i use a tanning bed for the first time and I got completely burnt. I It was so bad. I was only in there for like seven minutes, but I'm really pale, as you can see. So I'm peeling right now, currently. I don't know if you can see, but it's like all around like this part because it was all peeling here, but it like, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm just gonna get started. Right now, I'm obviously gonna do my nighttime skincare routine, and then I'm also gonna oil my hair and stuff which is what I do when it's time to wash my hair. I sleep in the oil and then in the morning I get a shower. I'm just gonna go ahead and say off the bat that almost my whole routine is from like TikTok stuff. I'm not gonna lie, like my personality and life has been influenced by TikTok so much. I use this hair oil, the Mio, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. Mio, Mio, Rosemary hair oil, which I'm almost out of. It's like that much left. So I probably have enough for this one. And then my next wash, I'll need to get a new bottle. I saw on TikTok that you should brush your hair for five minutes, which I never do five minutes because I'm way too lazy for that. I do like two minutes tops, but just like brush your scalp just to like stimulate it so the rosemary can really get in there and then help the growth overnight. But that's what I'm gonna do. And don't look at my forehead. Also ignore how greasy my hair is because it is day four of not washing it today. I've been washing it like twice a week recently. It's been going pretty good. I just use my dry shampoo because this is my holy grail. Like the Kristen S dry shampoo is literally amazing. It's like 15 bucks though. So it's a little bit on the expensive side for dry shampoo, but it's so amazing. Oh my gosh, I was gonna put on a robe. Ew, I hate my forehead. I'll be right back. I'm gonna change into a robe because I am that extra. I'm back in my pink robe. It's giving like rich housewife vibes but i got this from marshall's a few days ago and i hate to be that girl but i thought it was it looked like this stuff from skims and it's pink i'm so obsessed with pink right now I, i'm really in my like girly girl era currently my hair is like dead so that was the main reason that really got me into hair care recently because i was like mm, my hair is like falling apart because obviously i bleach it this is my natural color this actually the olaplex oil i liked it in the beginning but then i think i started putting it on before i did like heat on my hair like curling my hair straightening it and that just like was not a good idea putting oil as a heat protectant that was my downfall so the ends of my hair are so bad they're literally breaking off look at that i need to get my hair trimmed so bad okay it's probably been like one minute of me brushing my hair but i'm already over it so that's all the stimulating my scalp scalp is gonna get Okay, I just moved you to the other side of my desk and I like this way better. But anyways, I part my hair down the middle again. And then I comb it out with my fingers because I only try to brush the roots with the brush, not my ends because if I keep doing that, my split ends will just keep on breaking. I'm gonna take my hair oil. I go down my scalp first. And then I just like kind of place it like this. I really do it in the front because as you know, I don't like my forehead. And then I kind of just like go crazy with it. And then I just do a little bit on my hand and I run my fingers together to do like underneath part of my scalp. And I kind of just go ahead and massage it in. And then I just go ahead and rub in the rest of it. And then I part my hair down the middle again to add some to my split ends. Because they need all the help that they can get. And I kind of just like rub it in to make sure it's all covered. Okay, now that I look actually disgusting, but I will say I've been using this hair oil for probably like a month or two and my hair has gotten longer, which I can hardly tell because of my split ends, but in pictures, I'm like, dang, my hair is actually kind of long. So this stuff actually does work. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now 
and use my scalp massager to really massage it in. I'm gonna talk really quiet because my family's asleep. But this is my scalp massager. It's from Eco Tools. My sister got it for me for my birthday, but I'm just gonna massage all my scalp for like a minute. Okay, that was literally like 30 seconds probably, but that's it and now I'm gonna wash my face. So I actually just lied. I'm not gonna wash my face yet. I'm going to braid my hair and then wash my face so my hair will be like out of the way. But I do like a French braid and it's obviously gonna be messy because I don't brush my hair after like massaging it. I use a silk scrunchie to tie this and it literally looks, it just looks dumb. This is my hair. I'll show you the back. Don't laugh. Let's go wash my face really quick. I'm not going to talk because I don't want to wake my family up. I use the kale green tea spinach face wash. I know you've seen it. That chunk is expensive. Like the regular sized face wash. I don't want to be over dramatic, but I feel like it was like 30 bucks, but I could be wrong. But I had some birthday money left over and I really wanted to get it. So I got the mini one. That's my life hack right now. Getting the mini versions of the expensive stuff so I can still have it, but it won't be as expensive. From using it so far, I really like it. It doesn't have the squeaky clean effect that's not good for your skin apparently. Like blurs my skin, I feel like. Like right here. Like that looks so smooth and it's like hydrating. It's not as hydrating as I wish it could be. I'm like really obsessed with these hair clips. I don't know what it is about pinning your hair back to do your skincare or your makeup, but I just love it. Okay, let's get started with my skincare. First, I use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. It's the mini version because it's the free gift that I got from my Sephora birthday gift. But I basically just like pat it and then I start rubbing it in. This is a pore tightener toner and I actually have noticed that it does minimize my pores actually. Second step in my skincare routine. I don't know if my steps are in order. I've tried to perfect the order. Sorry if it's not right. Next is my essence, which is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Snail Mucin, kind of gross, but I got beside that because I saw people's skin after using this. And honestly, I kind of see those results in mine too. There's this one picture that I have on my Snapchat of my skin after doing my skincare routine. Oh my gosh, it was a set, like this side of my cheek. So clear, so glowy, so smooth. Oh my gosh. And I think that it was because of this. Next, I go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow and Niacin in my drops. I do all my skincare on my neck as well as my face and I'm pretty sure that's like a common thing. Like a really long time ago, I saw someone say that you should do everything that you do to your face to your neck like skincare wise and makeup wise. So ever since then I did that and I'm pretty sure everybody knows that but like I'm just saying. This stuff will make your skin glow. The niacinamide dew drops. Do is right. Next, I go in with my retinol serum. I have been using this. It's the Azure, A-Z-U-R-E brand. It's the retinol and vitamin E. Anti-aging facial serum. I know retinol is for nighttime and then vitamin C is for the morning. You can use vitamin C either times, but it's recommended during the day. So I've been doing that at night and then that in the morning. But I got this from Marshalls actually. I didn't know if this was a good brand, but I saw on TikTok that someone used vitamin E in their skincare and it made their skin really good. So this was retinol and vitamin E, so it was a two in one. But since I just got my Sephora order the other day, this little cute sample for free of the Summer Fridays Midnight Ritual Retinol Renewal Serum, I've been using this instead of that. I really wanna try more Summer Fridays products because I don't really use any of their stuff because it's like, I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. Next, I go in with my under eye cream. This is the Clinique one, all about eyes. And I just do like two drops, depending on how much product I get on my finger. And then I rub it in a little bit on my eyelid. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it on your eyelid, but I do. And then I just tap it in. This is my last step, is moisturizer. I feel like it's a really short skincare routine, but I don't know, it works for me. So this is the Clinique Turn Around Overnight Revitalizing Moisturizer. I just do a little scoopy plop like that, rub it in, and then I pat it. But yeah, that's my skincare routine. 
I do have the Laneige lip sleeping mask, which I got from Marshalls. And I really need it right now on my lips. They are so bad. It literally makes it so shiny. It's so good. And then recently I started adding another chapstick with this one. I just got this bag bomb from Marshalls because I saw Alex Earl use this bag bomb. I'm going to use this and put it on my lips. And another thing that I just got is these acne dots. I got them from Ulta. I'm just going to plop some of these on my face. And then as always, I like to brush my eyebrows up. It's about time for me to tweeze and trim them. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. And then I also like to brush through my lashes. But yeah, that's my skincare. I'm gonna probably go to sleep in a little bit and then we'll see you in the morning to show you my shower routine and my morning skincare. Good night and I'll see you then. Good morning. I actually woke up like an hour or an hour and a half ago. I've just been in my bed watching TikTok. I got up and I brushed my teeth and stuff and I took off my pimple patches. And then I was like, I should probably start filming. And then I was like, I don't want to shower. Like, that's a lot of work. So I just came back in here and lay back down. But it's time for me to get up and shower. Welcome to my shower. So I wash my hair like twice a week. And one of the times I use the Olaplex Hair Perfector, the N3 one. I use that once every week. But I put this in my hair first and I let it sit for 10 minutes. And then while it's sitting, I wash my face with this, which is what I used last night. I rinse this out. I do my first shampoo because I shampoo twice. It is the Revolution Bond Plex shampoo and I'm not really sure if I like it that much. I don't know, I'm trying it out. And then after I shampoo, I use my Whey scalp scrub, which I'm still trying to figure out how to actually use it because I feel like the scrub just gets in my hair, doesn't even reach my scalp. But anyways, I rinse that out and then I use the Miel my own deep conditioner and I leave this I put it like from roots to ends and I leave it on for 15 minutes and then once that 15 minutes is over I usually use my scalp massage and I just massage my whole scalp and then I rinse the deep conditioner out and then I use my way detox shampoo that I got as my free birthday gift from Sephora and then I use the same brand conditioner and I let that sit for just a little bit and I kind of went out of order there because like during the time where I have to wait, that's whenever I like wash my body and my face and stuff. Whenever I shower, whenever I wash my hair, I actually use a face scrub too. I use the Kopari California Glow Enzyme Scrub on my face. I do that first and then I do my face wash for my body, my body wash. I use the Native Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash, which I love. It has been my go-to for a long time. And of course I use a pink loofah. And my scrubs up there, it is the Kopari Exfoliating Crush Scrub. And then I also use the Dove Pomegranate Scrub. That's basically everything that I use in the shower. So I'm going to go do all those steps out of the shower. I look so pale right now. I'll see you in my room. Since we are doing like full body self-care, I wanted to show you the lotion that I use, which is the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Lotion. And I put it... <clears throat> almost everywhere and then this is the men's deodorant that i use okay so i did that and here is my like order of how i do this oh and also i do use a hair towel the microfiber hair towels i think i got it at marshall's or tj maxx like a long time ago but do my hair care and then i do my skin care and then the wow color wow dream coat because this is activated by heat so i put it on after my skin care and then i go in and blow dry my hair. I don't really have a whole lot of post shower hair care products. It's usually all in the shower, but I have the way leave-in conditioner that I use and I got this from Sephora for my birthday gift thing. It was like a set. I basically just spray this from like my mid to my end of my hair. Like that. That stuff smells really good by the way. I recommend getting that leave-in conditioner even though it's expensive, but I do think it works really well. And then I do my Olaplex hair oil, which I know I said ruined my hair before, but that was because I was putting it on and then curling my hair like right afterwards. I just put this on right after my shower or I put it on like right after I curled my hair. And that's basically it for my hair. I will brush it and then once I'm done with my skincare, then I'll use this. And then that's all the products that I use for my hair care post shower routine.
I'm gonna use these clips. So my skincare routine for mornings is basically the same as my nighttime routine, just a few different products. So first I do go in with the toner, the same glow recipe toner that I use at nighttime. And then once that is all in, I will go in with the same snail mucin essence that I do. This is where I change a step. I do vitamin C serum, which is from Province Beauty that I got from Marshalls. This stuff is very like watery. So I usually like fan it so it'll really soak into my skin before I go with the next product. Next product is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Serum. This serum, I swear, so glowy. And now I go in with my moisturizer, which is the La Roche Posay. I think it's La Roche Posay. I'm not sure. And that's all the products that I use. Now, if I was going outside, I would use sunscreen. I never use sunscreen in my skincare routine, but I just recently got this Elf Skin Sun Touchable Whoa Glow 30 SPF sunscreen and it can also be used as a makeup primer and I do like it but if I was going to like do my makeup and everything I would do sunscreen now I use my ice roller which is my favorite part of my skincare routine like it just like wakes my skin up helps my under eyes a lot now I just do chapstick now I know this is a lip sleeping mask but I do it in the day sometimes because you know like how how is my lips gonna know that I'm not sleeping and I'm gonna put some aquaphor on top of it. I love the bag balm stuff, I truly do, but it smells awful. Like, I hate the way it smells. And then I do the same thing, I brush up my eyebrows. And yeah, that's basically it. That's my full routine. Well, obviously I do this. But I put this in my hair, spray it everywhere, and then I blow dry it. But I'm not gonna blow dry my hair today. I don't really want to use heat on it right now. I'm just gonna let it air dry. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a different style than what... I usually film so let me know if you liked it and if you want to see more like beauty youtube videos because that's what i'm really into right now maybe i'll do a makeup tutorial next because i really like perfected my base makeup and i feel like that is the main thing in a makeup routine is your base makeup like once that's perfected like you're good to go and i have finally done that let me know if you guys want to see that because i'd be totally down to film a makeup tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know if i'm gonna upload next sunday couldn't tell you honestly but hopefully i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.